And we're back. Nimrin Deer is once again here to see what he can do with um our friend Hollow Knight here. So I've been thinking about exactly how I was going to proceed, and I think my plan is to go back into the Fog Canyon for now, because because I don't like the fungal wastes. I don't know, for some reason. I mean, I know the, I've said the bubbles creep me out, but uh, I think the... Uh, the fungus, you know, creeps me out more. So, so let's see what else we can find in the fog canyon. All right. If nothing else, we've got this exciting wagon wheel. Now, yeah, that part of why I'm wanting to check this out is see if I can find a map because I like having maps. All right. Oh, so that that explosion. <laughs> is very big, is what I just learned there, so. All right. I was actually just trying to build up soul. Huh. Ooh. I keep thinking those tentacles are uh, dangerous, so I have yet to have determined if they actually are or not, but, but the explosions certainly are, so I'm cool with just leaving that other guy alone. I've got a fair amount of soul stocked up now. Chat, stop checking the map, Nim. Okay. Let's see. This it's a curious arrangement of shapes there. It looks like I've got a wheel, like some eggs, a pill bug, maybe. Hmm. Oh, well, this this person doesn't look hostile yet. Oh, that could have been her, though. Okay, Millie Bell, the banker. Hello there, dearie. I was about to close up shop and run till you came along. I provide a banking service if you're interested. Losing one's geo is a terrible thing and it's so much more likely if you carry it about on yourself. My vault is much more secure. In all my time as a banker, I've never lost a single geo. Maybe you'd considered opening an account. Um, I don't have enough geo for it right now. Maybe later. Oh, hang on. You don't have enough geo to buy an account, sadly. Once you've collected a hundred, come straight back and we'll get your account opened up. Well, that's, uh, that's an option. I wonder if, <laughs> does she have stations, like, elsewhere? Or am I always going to have to come back to this place? Whoops. Shorted. <laughs> Didn't hit the jump button fast enough. Hmm. Well, my journal's updated, so, you know, I can find out what the hunter thinks about these little guys. I guess that's a thing. Yep, so the tentacles do hurt, and that hurts as well. Oh, boy. All right. It's funny she said about losing my geo. I, mean, I don't have much at the moment. I mean, it's only five, but... But I'm very close to getting sent right the heck back to the Queen Station. All right. Yeah, that's a door. All right. A door to stuff I can't pass. Hmm. I could dash upward. I see a I see a pile of geo right there. That's what that's worth. Um. Okay. All right. Well, just about got myself healed back up. Yay. Is there really nothing else in here in the fog canyon? Hmm. Ah, shorted my jump. Let's see. <laughs> well, I guess that's one way to make sure you, you know, don't get hit by the explosion if you, you know, hurl yourself, you know, however many, you know, fall, you know feet down I fell. I mean, I guess we're talking about insects, you know, so, you know, we're talking about things on an insect scale, so. Is that really everything that's here? Hmm. Now I'm curious. Did I miss something? There's nothing there. Yeah, if I, can, <laughs> if I can get cover from those guys, it helps. But, um... Ow. 
Ow, it ran straight into the wall. I should have thought about that. Eh. Oh well. But so... For the record, I'm not just trying to collect enough Geo, you know, to open a bank account. So that's the way I can't make any progress. Huh, I like the little blob of orange that just sits there. Alright. Might explain why we haven't found a map from Cornifer if this is actually the entire area. Hmm. But it definitely puts a damper on investigating, right? Hmm. Okay. Well, the only thing I can think of, I could technically dig more into the fungal wastes, but there was an entry point, like, past where we, you know, fought Hornet. I say we, you know, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you were all cheering me on and not just like, you know, waiting to, you know, laugh at, you know, my repeated deaths, but I guess we'll go back up and check out that area of the green path and see if there's anything there. A part of me, you know, is wondering if I should be diving all, like, real hard into the fungal waste right now, and I'm a coward, so... Oh jeez, I forgot this. There may be another egg entrance elsewhere. Hmm, I can't, can't remember. All right. Okay. Oh boy. Oh shoot. Talk on it. Man. Okay. So, hmm. Did I go this way? When I came in? <laughs> Heavens to Murgatroyd! This is the entrance, isn't it? Oh, jeez. I feel really dumb now because I'm hearing... The telltale sound of there's a map. Seriously, wait, Cornifer got across this? You're kidding me. This is gonna This is gonna be very dicey getting across here, because Alright. What is that black vortex? I can't get past it. And I can't break it down. Well, it didn't... Hmm. This, this place keeps getting weirder. Alright. Hmm. Alright, so there's a map right here. If I can figure out how to get past whatever those black tendrils were supposed to be. But... That it, I feel really silly about the fact that I didn't step in there, and so I've been wandering around. And I can't quite make that jump, I don't think. There we go. Alright. Coming back into the relative placidity of the green path. And I just have to... Wait. Yeah, this way is not going to lead me anywhere. All right, there we go. Oh yeah, oops, run. Glad I remembered that. And if I remembered, I, you know, happened to hear the sound. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and rest so we don't have to run back through Fog Canyon in order to retrieve, you know, in order to get back to the green path, that might, might not make for a great video. That's the, you know, okay guys, well I'll get back here and cut out, right? Alright.
Yeah, that... yeah, I have completely succumbed to the, you know, I want to fill up the bestiary, so. But I actually already have entries on all of those guys, so. Oops, went in too deep. Let's see here. Yeah, that's the way I want to go. I'm still not sure why I would pick that route over the one underneath. I suppose I should actually investigate it at some point, but... There's a geode here. Okay. Whoops. Really? Doggone it. Okay. Alright, well, I've got a new journal entry. Alright. So yeah, I, my guess is that was the only reason to come up this way was to collect some more geo, so... And I guess to convince myself that those guys really aren't as dangerous as they manage to make themselves look. I'll still probably not, you know, try to pick a fight with them all that often, but... Well, probably I will here. Alright. <laughs> Can't believe I just, like, hurled away all of my soul to kill that little guy. Um, alright. And I'm actually hurt to boot, so it makes even less sense. Let's see here. Yeah, there's a... There's a bench up this way? Yeah. Nope, oh, can't heal yet. myself shot if I, you know, stop too long, right? Okay. There's the bench. Whee! Alright. I'm not sure if I should say that I'm making progress, because... Yeah. I mean, I'm back somewhere I've already been, right? Maybe it's a problem, maybe it's a personal problem that I just couldn't bring myself not to collect those Geo. Yeah. And let him explode. Yeah, I didn't think that... <laughs> Saw that little bit of, you know, woodwork and had the brief thought that maybe it was supposed to be, like, you know, smashable. Like it would, un like, reveal some kind of secret. said, yeah, it really, st there are times I feel like, you know, it's, it's like a compulsion. Maybe I should, like, get, it, get, you know, talk to someone about it. Oh, that's the other guy I killed. All right, yep, so we're just about back to Hornet's chamber. I'm gonna leave that little one alone again. You know, partially because I felt like I was bullying the daylights out of him previously. Okay. So now, yeah, we opened this other route because no, I don't know. Now, the gate's open. Hmm. That seems suspicious. Yeah, why not? We'll see if anything weird happens. Nope, that was okay.
All right. Well, that's right there. Whoop. Nearly fell into the acid. I'm going to feel really silly if it turns out that there was like some sort of important power up. I just kind of assumed that the dash was the, you know, the big thing I needed to get out of the area. Some beams of light. Hmm. It's a very long walkway. I can't help but, you know, be suspicious. Hmm. Okay. No, good. I made it safe and sound. Interesting. I found the Lake of Un. Hmm. We had a message about Un from some somewhere earlier. All right. Some more little birds. Oh dear. Those guys. How many of those guys are there? It's a lake of acid. Oh. Of course it's a lake of acid. Why would it be anything else? Um. Nah, Minobis. Okay, he looked way more threatening with his, like, head down, so his mask looked all dangerous. It's just Quirrell. Oh, hello there. Seems we both tread far from the path. I can hardly believe those dusty old highways led to such a lush and lively place. This building suggests some form of worship, though its idol has clearly been long forgotten. Doubles equally well for a moment's respite. Yes, it's, you know, gone. I'm, I'm worried that it, you know, was one of the things that, that, you know, made me explode after I killed Hornet. I don't know. I saw a strange fellow out there. He seemed quite taken by the lake. I'd planned to offer greetings, though I figured I'd first tend to my nail on chance of our meeting goes poorly. Your nail looks a fine instrument, but it's showing signs of wear. I'd wager up there would, it would take you far. Down here, however, I suspect you'll soon meet dangers the surface world can't match. Hmm. Hallow Nest is perfect for vigilant explorers like us. So tense and thrilling. In this place, you're either alert or you're dead. Alright. Hmm. Okay, I think I've finally reached the end of his conversation. Don't accidentally swing at him. Update my map. <laughs> Cheat a bit and see what it says. Okay, no, the Lake of Un... Whatever it is, it cuts off. Hmm. Well, yeah, there's a save right there, so let's give it a shot. nice if I could take this, you know, maybe not so beaten up nail that's out here. Hmm. And I can't seem to go any further. I'm, I'm wondering if at some point I'm going to get some sort of, like, acid ability? Like, uh, like that lets me actually, like, drop into these? Oh. Maybe those little floating things in the background end up being important? Looked like one of them was a little closer up in the top left corner, but... Hmm. Yeah, see, that one is clearly there, so... Let's see. Well, go ahead and heal up because apparently that's as far as that was going to go. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> Queer will have fun with that guy who was checking out the lake. Um. So we take a moment and look at the map. So we pushed as far as we can in that direction. We've got blocks. You know, thanks to the thorns down on the bottom. We've got darkness up in the top right, and darkness blocking our way to that stone sanctuary thing over in the bottom right. If we move over, we've got darkness blocking us in the in the Forgotten Caverns in one place. We have a couple of places where yeah, the ground was trembling, but we couldn't actually like make it break. 
there's that one, as I said, there's a couple of additional paths down there at the bottom of the Forgotten Crossroads, I guess we could investigate a bit further. Can't remember why I marked the the one with the, the red guy right there, and I remember there was a place where there was like a sleeping bug of some sort blocking the way. Again, I didn't want to have to kill him, but somehow killing him seems nicer than experiencing more fungal wastes. Hmm. I think I'm going to try to check out the Forgotten... That, that part of the Forgotten Crossroads. Let's see if I can make it back without it being terribly arduous. I don't know if that actually speeds me up. I remember, you know, back playing Symphony of the Night that apparently the, the elite strat was actually to, like, backdash everywhere because your back step was faster than your, you know, regular movement speed. But... But... I'm not good at... I'm not a terribly visual person, so I'm not great at assessing that sort of thing. Alright. I kind of feel bad that I killed that guy, but I mean, he's he's extremely violent, so I'm, I'm going to get over it pretty fast. Okay. So... So... Mr. Last Stag should be able to take us back to the crossroads. I will preemptively thank the Last Stag for carrying me. And looks like what's his name? In fact, I feel bad that I've actually forgotten the fellow's name. The one who was looking for the arena. He, he, he's moved on, so... So that's a thing. Alright, double checking my map. Oh, this thing. Um, why am I just standing here like a dummy? Oh, heavens. Okay, well. Well, that could have gone better. Nah, I considered just going back up to the station to recover, but, eh. I will try to be a big boy and tough it out. Yeah, there's lots of statuary? And really, is this, that's as far as I got. I just quit. Okay, well, let's see what's in here. locked entryway? That looks like a lever of some sort. Can I shoot it? No. Okay. Hmm. Alright. So, <laughs> so it may be the fungal wastes after all. I don't have many more options at this stage, right? Yeah, I finally did notice that, yeah, it actually goes dark after a while if you... <laughs> they don't at least shatter. I'd, I'd had this concern that it was going to break and leave me with some, like, you know, massive enemy to fight. That it, you know, prickles out of the ground and starts wailing on me. But, hmm. Yeah, so we had... Up here... Oh yeah, this thing. Uh oh. Oh, that was the just the hunter. Okay. I had this thought that oh dear, what did, what have I done? I heard the sound, and it's you know, me translating hunter speak. So yeah, I remember. It said it had a door with an open slot. And we we had this issue that we had just collected in our inventory the city crest. It says it has an insert on the back that would fit in a slot, but we can't use it? We can't figure out a way to make it work. And that's bugging me. It's like... I feel like... 
there should be something here that lets me use it. Yeah, but all of the buttons just, you know, don't react. So, so all that really leaves is the spot down here with the poor sleeping thing, and I mean, and it's just blocking a gate. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we may give that a shot. I hate to, you know, I, I kill something innocent, or, you know, it's, it, it, that's not, because that's not the way I want to go, right? Yeah, I need to get back to my bench before we call it a, before we call it a video, I'd like to get back to a safe spot. Hmm. He's coming after me. This one wants to shoot me. Alright. Alright, well, we'll camp out at the bench and I'll decide whether I want to, you know, kill an innocently sleeping creature or dare the fungal wastes once more. We'll we'll make that decision sometime between the next video and now. So we're going to press pause. So once again, thanks for watching. Feel free to check out the rest of the series if watching Nimrandir blunder around through the, you know, the world of Hollow Knight interests you. Um, we will see you next time.